The Children Are Us Foundation offers training to people with disabilities in order to help them find jobs, which have been hard to come by since the outbreak of COVID. One of the people the foundation has helped is Becca Chen, who originally hails from the U.S. Chen came to Taiwan with her parents when she was 18 years of age, and after eight years of training at the foundation, she has recently found her first job at a restaurant. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang met with her to find out more. She carefully chops chicken. Then she adds the chicken and vegetables to the lunch box. After that, she labels each box. This is Becca Chen. Chen grew up in the U.S., and after graduating from high school, she and her parents moved to Taiwan. She's been attending a training program at the Children R Us Foundation for almost eight years. Now, 26, she secured her first job at the store. I like making drinks. It's fun because you get to squeeze and then all the stuff in the blender. It's quick, easy. I'm most proud of myself learning Chinese because in a way, it will help me in the future. Chen is also in charge of making green smoothies. In order to remember all the steps and ingredients, Chen has a notebook full of notes in both Mandarin and English. Even after work, she spends hours reviewing and looking through her notes. Having grown up in the U.S., she said that learning Mandarin was the hardest part of the job. I have to study from the beginning. I had to study because, um, because that way I can learn more and be more successful. Like things to remind me, and uh, things like um, like recipes that they gave me. So when I forget about something, I could just like look it up. To provide for people with disabilities, this store partnered with the Children R Us Foundation to hire people from the foundation to work there. Becca is very special. Before coming here to work, she had already learned how to cut fruits and vegetables. We didn't expect her to pack lunch boxes or recognize characters, but she learned by herself. We have a very pleasant time working with her. We have a combination of healthy meals for 95 and tea in all Children R Us Foundation stores in Taipei City. We have also hired partners who are well suited to the food and beverage sector. We currently have four stores, and now two stores have people with disabilities working there. In fact, there are actually very few job opportunities for people with disabilities in the market since the pandemic. Since the store is willing to give us a chance, we are happy to support. Despite the hard work and long hours, Becca says she loves her job. She says her motto in life is go big or go home. Go big or go home. <laughs> so. That's my motto. I really like make big money and just like spend wherever I want on stuff. Yeah, um, it made me buy an apartment for to myself. Having secured her first job, Becca is brimming with hope. She says her dream job is to become a successful YouTuber in the future. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Yi Han in Taipei.